Hey, this is Jonathan. In the next couple tutorials, I want to take you through some some things about using Dreamweaver for web standards coding and how to use selectors in Dreamweaver. So, uh, very first thing is go to the, the lectures on the digital media website, go to web development, and go to CSS intro and selectors. Make sure that you do read some of the things on this page because it's so important that you understand CSS syntax and the properties and values and shorthand um, as well as the different types of ways that you can link to your CSS or import it, the different types of selectors, and then of course more advanced selectors. And there's some good important information here on how those work. Now the code that you're going to be using is also on this page. So when you find the code in this tan box, go ahead and select all that code down to HTML right-click and copy it or do control C and the very first thing that we want to do is validate this code to make sure that it is proper code if I go to the validator.w3.org this is the w3c markup validation service you can um, validate by um, a URL or you can also validate by file upload or direct input I'm going to use direct input and go ahead and paste that code in there and click on check now it came up with this document was successfully checked as XHTML strict. So we know that we're using strict code. It says there's one warning and I checked out what that warning is and the warning seems to be that there's a discrepancy um, about using direct input mode versus the URL method. So um, the direct input is a little bit different and that's why where that warning is coming from. Otherwise it is strict code and um, we're ready to go over to Dreamweaver. Now in Dreamweaver we're going to create a new page and I'm going to copy and paste, or not copy and paste, I've already copied the code. I'm going to paste the code right into this box so it re removes all of it. And one thing that you should do as well is go to um, format, or let's see, commands, apply source formatting just to make sure that everything is formatted properly in Dreamweaver. If you go to the design view you'll see that that code is currently in there um, and now what we're ready to do is of course save this document and I might call it my sample CSS page and it'd be a good idea to actually save this inside a sample CSS folder just so we make sure that we have all that stuff organized. Now it would be a good idea for us also to create a um, a managed site so that it's pointing into that folder. So if you click on manage sites, we'll do a new site. Um, I'll call it sample CSS. The local root folder will be the folder called sample CSS. Um, when it comes to the other things, I really don't want anything else. So that pretty much that's it. Hit done. And you'll see now the only thing that it's showing me in that folder currently is the HTML document that we've created called sample CSS. So let's go ahead and save um, where the video from where we are and we'll go on to the next one.